bloody Billy McFarlane, the guy from flipping, um, what's it called? Fire Festival is back with a new event. He's launching a new party. The guy that scammed all these kids out of their money. And I didn't have a big problem with the festival itself. I know some people were annoyed by it, but the idea of like making a bespoke festival for like bougie upper class kids who have trust funds is not a bad idea. Like, and essentially you're making like a VIP package festival for like the kids who can afford that sort of stuff and arrive by helicopter and whatnot. Cool. Do your thing. Cause I'm sure there's a market for it, but you know, he absolutely scammed them. Absolutely ran them right. I'm sure we've all seen a Netflix documentary, but here's Billy McFarlane launching a new thing called pirate, which is absolutely hilarious. And of course he's abbreviated it in the quintessential style startup way with p-y-r-t which is absolutely hilarious you know and picking super gremlin as a name as a as the theme song for it as well is actually making me laugh i'm not going to lie but let's actually play this hopefully it's not playing the super gremlin in the background because that's going to get me copyright strike let's, let's see what it does not a festival it's not an event and it's definitely not a metaverse Pirate is a technology that I've been working on for the past couple of years called the vidr the virtual immersive decentralized reality so Number one, he's presenting this thing barefooted, right? I already don't trust him. He's barefooted presenting this flipping nonsense that he's putting out. That's not an event. I've only known Haley from oh. one trip. God almighty, what's happening here? Oh, is it because I scanned it up in it, right? Is that why? Oh, Pirate annoying. is not a festival. Yeah. It's so, not an event and uh, it's definitely not a metaverse. Goodness sake, this particular thing is annoying to use. So he's presenting the whole thing sockless, which is obviously something I wouldn't trust in the slightest personally myself, but let's continue it. Oh my God, it keeps Thanks. moving. I hate TikTok. I, I hate TikTok. I hate it. I hate it. It's such an annoying app to use, isn't it? Pirate is okay. Let's go again. Let's just watch the whole thing because it's getting me annoyed. Festival. It's not an event, and it's definitely not a metaverse. Pirate is a technology that I've been working on for the past couple of years called the VIDR, the Virtual Immersive Decentralized Reality. So, what the VIDR is? Fuck off, man. That's just acronym for "Give me your money, I'ma scam you." Virtual. I did what? 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 is a technology that brings together and connects people from around the world both virtually and physically then once they're together it allows people to actually affect real world change so basically sims with like a social media or like an altruistic charity component that's what it is right he's building sims he's doing what people are doing in flipping um what's it call it in uh, minecraft right where they kind of work together and they do cool things and cool projects, but he's adding a, a, a social element to it. Nonsense. Fuck out of here. So this all starts with Pirate partnering with a small remote destination where we will host a handful of artists, content creators, entrepreneurs. And so, so it sounds like a real festival that you could also take part in the virtual reality. So if you're not there physically, you can also take part in it by it, what an immersive technology. Maybe you put some flipping goggles on or some shit like or maybe it's augmented reality that you look through your phone. Whatever it is, it's absolutely lame. And if he gets any funding, again, this is why I say I made a podcast about it topic before my main show, The Excellent Singer Show. Make sure you check it out on all podcasting platforms on my main channel. But I said categorically one of the main reasons why i don't have imposter syndrome and i've never had it is because i know there are dumb people out there who are able to make a success out of themselves and in life in general despite absolutely being categorically two digit iq and ridiculously stupid this guy went into prison went to prison for scamming people and now he's come out and he's able to raise if he's able to raise funding for this nonsense you should never have imposter syndrome i don't care if you are uh, trying to become the area manager of walmart you're trying to become the head chef at a flipping Burger King or a McDonald's. I don't care what level of job you're working in. You should never doubt yourself. If somebody like that can go into prison for fraud, for scamming people and come out and try and raise money for a new startup or app, never doubt yourself ever in the slightest, because if they can do it, you can do it. Any of you guys who end up joining the Pirate Crew. Alongside this location, we'll launch a live virtual replica of the island where anybody <laughs> from around the world can not only watch what's happening live, but they can actually come together with their friends to affect and even own the real world adventures. What? What? <laughs> So what, is he partnered with Greta Thunberg then? They're working together. Him, Greta Thunberg, Ja Rule. Like, what the hell is happening here? What are we doing here? This virtual map is a small preview of one of my favorite islands in the Exumas. But 
Pirate is not just about the Bahamas. We're open and actively- He's going back to the Bahamas. He's going back to the Caribbean and disrupting these lovely people who he scammed over. Do you remember the whole Bahamas thing and Fire Festival? I think it's Bahamas, wherever it was a location. And he scammed that lovely Caribbean woman who was preparing a whole catering thing for the whole event. And then they canceled it last minute and she bought all the ingredients and stuff and hadn't got any of the money back. I don't know if she got actually repaid for her flipping, you know, expenditure. But imagine, he's going back to double back again. One of my favorite islands. Who even has favorite islands? Who sits there and wonders, hmm, what's one of my favorite islands and is dotting around on the map and looking for one? What an absolute wildlife. I wouldn't trust this guy as much as I would trust Logan Paul. Seeking other partnerships. So Caribbean nations and any other adventurous location around the world, hit me up. As you guys all probably know, we're starting everything off with a global treasure hunt. We're bringing together people on a small and manageable scale. I ask you guys to please follow white man going to a small predominantly black island and the festival or the event is called pirate hmm white man going to a small predominantly black island under the banner of pirate <laughs> you couldn't write this you could not write this well, pirate.vidr to oh. see the or you could because it's an actual history but hey. technology that i've actually built and to join our pirate crew to my lamp. Look at that horrible hand style. Look at that horrible, prepubescent, almost redacted hand style. Of course, he's got a hand style like that. Of course. Look at those R's. Look at those R's. Look how pathetic the lining on those R's are. Look at the splay on the end of those R's. Look at that nonsense. This guy hasn't picked up a flipping spray can and graffitied in anger, a pencil, anything in his entire life. What an absolute square. Lord look at that nonsense look at that if you're put honestly part of me as much as i deride and i absolutely hate the stuff that logan paul does when it comes to scamming his fans because i really can't you know there's one thing i can't forgive when it comes to scamming i guess because i've come you know i've grown up in a flipping rough part of town and you know i've been i've been privy to the odd scam here and there or the odd thing falling off the back of a lorry but i think if you're in the depths of poverty legitimately and you're out there trying to hustle i don't know you remember back in the day a few of my friends were selling like fire sticks and whatnot with you know preloaded channels and whatnot you can watch certain things on there was a scamming with flipping certain uh, creams and moisturizers and makeup stuff that you'd sell to your mom, TVs. There was an Amazon. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was an Amazon scam a few years ago where people would order stuff on Amazon. Allegedly, you'd say it didn't arrive and then you'd get another thing sent back to you if it was under a certain amount and you'd sell that thing. There was a Beats by Dre scam. There was an iPod, ear, there was an AirPod scam when those things first came about. There's loads of different things, but for the most part, most of these scams, especially in my neighborhood, especially in the place where I live, I go to local barbers and you have guys popping into the local barbers. Like even just the other day, there was a guy in there trying to sell people naught faces. So this local crackhead went to a flipping naught face shop and decided to, you know, do a bit of handy shoplifting and he wanted to exchange some of the naught faces that he happened to, you know, slide out of that shop allegedly for some cash in order for him to do what he needs to do with the stuff that he likes to do and these things happen quite often and these are the people who are at the lowest rung of society right and we're all kind of scraping and struggling and trying to figure stuff out it makes some sense if you're trying to do that and you don't have the means to do what you need to do and you're running a little scam here and there i get it it's all good but when it comes to these logan pauls and these type of people who have all the privileges in life they have all the advantages given to them why do you need to scam i think that's the again there's no good or bad lying lying is lying stealing is stealing so even a guy selling me naught faces in a barber shop for 20 pounds that's not a good thing i know i understand that but in terms of scumbaggedness scumbaggery in terms of deplorable human beings logan paul going and scamming his fans people that look up to him and think he's cool and want to live in his mansion and drive his car and hang out with the kids he hangs out with and the girls that he likes and the crew he has to scam your fans is disgusting especially off the back of i saw saw recently just now news courtesy of dextero or something that prime the drink he has with ksi they're gonna run an advert during the super bowl logan paul's running an advert with prime which is you know this big deal energy drink that he's got that's going crazy and people are reselling it for loads of money and he's got an ad running in the super bowl so clearly he's making a lot of money there's no need to scam your fans similar when it goes to this um brian billy mcfarlane kid he's been given a second chance in life right he got flipping you know exposed to the world to being a scam artist he got a second chance which most people don't get and he got that second chance he comes out and he wants to double down and do the scam once again it's absolutely deranged but part of me also thinks it might be an american thing 
because it feels like Americans love redemption stories. Like I think in the UK, sometimes if you get if you get caught for stuff that's a bit scammy and you're a little bit of a social pariah, it can be very difficult to come back again and run that scam a second, a third, a fourth, or a fifth time. But I think in America, some people have this running narrative in their head that they're the stars of their own movie right that joe rogan quote that clip they had where you're the hero of your own movie so you're going to come back and prove everybody wrong that you're actually good and you know what you're doing and you want to run it back again and try to fix things and that's what they always try to do so instead of billy mcfarlane disappearing into the abyss somewhere and being part of some venture fund and working a normal you know c-suite job and just living life and enjoying what he does and banging girls at a hampton and driving a nice flipping g-wagon and just existing and living a comfortable life now nah, he wants to throw himself back into the fray and prove that he's absolutely a big top businessman he can do this again because in his head he's got that redemption story arc that comeback that 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 that, that, that comeback story right he's got that flipping that feeling song that runs at the nfl playing in his head he's he's like in some under armor advert running in the rain doing flipping burpees right he's thinking that's him in the movie so that's why he's back again but unfortunately who's gonna suffer always the customers always the people that suffer are the ones at the lowest rungs the customers who can't really do much about it it's absolutely heinous and then of course some of his old staff members decided to come out and basically say that you know what he's running is absolute scam this is quite funny this is an article courtesy of uh, daily mail and it says billy still billy he's using different words but selling the same thing fire festivals forces format staff uh former staff sorry hit out at mcfarlane launches new venture with a remote island and a slew of influencers so um former staffers who worked with um the con man behind the disastrous fire festival billy mcfarlane are warning people that um who might have taken in by his convinced force of new venture to steer well clear so former staff that worked with him are saying hey this guy hasn't changed in the slightest. Be very, very wary. Look, finally announced that his new venture, Pirate, in a recent TikTok Awards uh, uh, in the end of the last year, describing it as a virtual immersive decentralized reality. Look at those words. That just screams scam. Whenever you can't understand anything, it just screams scam to me. I remember the first time I got introduced to cryptocurrency, I knew Bitcoin was a thing that would eventually end up working. And I'm still a big believer in Bitcoin. I'm still holding onto a few coins because I remember the general premise around it was just the idea of selling someone a car and how long it will take to transfer funds of a certain amount to somebody if you're buying a car sorry and i remember the idea behind it was like hey you could transfer somebody um you know an exact amount in the hundreds and thousands to the millions by the penny in an instant via the blockchain via cryptocurrency via bitcoin and it made complete sense to me in that way i've completely understood it and then of course things went where they went you know men blah 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 but Everything else after that, I felt like was confusing and didn't make any sense and just screamed scam. So when I heard NFT, non-fungible token, I thought immediately scam. When you hear stuff like this, virtual, immersive, decentralized reality, scam. Like no one can explain this to you in layman's terms for you to get it. There is no layman terms because this is a scam. <laughs> or just an opportunity for Facebook to advertise more to you. Anyway, it continues. Um, uh yet despite technological sorry despite technical language there appears to be a striking similarity between this and his failed festival which saw five thousand victims defrauded out of 26 million <laughs> imagine honestly imagine 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 having five thousand victims who you've defrauded out of a total of 26 million and still popping up your head and dis deciding to launch another thing with no shame that's the thing that i think i lack I honestly do think I lack that. That's the thing that is really stopping me from getting to the next level of my life. Not having any shame. Being unable to be embarrassed. Because I can, like everybody else, I'm sure, be embarrassed. I can be shamed out of things. But these people don't have any shame. Don't have any capacity to be embarrassed. So they just continue the scam. They continue. They continue the grift. Although this is still in the planning stages in a new virtual event, McFarlane appears to have not learned his lesson as he claims it will be featuring a live stream of artists and creators having fun in Bahamas. <laughs> it lets a former law staff speaking out. Let's see what this former staff said. This is one of the former staff members. Uh, what she say here billy still billy he's using different words but he's selling the same thing says su yan deng a former product designer at fire festival he was really good at pitching but no technical skills that's very true actually i have to be honest when i was working for startups especially crappy startups one of the things that's a real um running through line with crappy startup guys who aren't really good entrepreneurs or leaders or business people is their ability to really 
you know, present well, like they can speak amazingly well. But when it comes to operating a business day to day, keeping, you know, uh, payroll, uh, making sure sales are where they need to be, profits, all that sort of stuff, blah, blah, blah. They're completely useless. But when it comes to g up the, you know, the, the staff and getting them excited and getting you punch in the air and thinking they're going to change the world with an app that's doing this or doing that, that's a Tinder of this, that's the Uber of this, they can do it. They're magical at it. But when it comes to actually running a business, dotting your I's and crossing your T's, their man don't have a clue. It continues. Another former Fire Media employee who's struck by the parallel, parallel story between two ventures said, the similarities are there around the vague, mysterious promotion, said another former employee who wished him anonymous. Pirate appears to be exercising smoke and mirrors, buzzwords and empty promises, and have lavish ships to the Bahamas. As previous employees who have trusted Billy's leadership in the past, new customers and investors and employees should all proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Another person said here, I was talking to somebody yesterday and they're like, you're calling to a hole and okay, shut up. But yeah, so, um, but also a part of me thinks at this point, if you do get scammed, if you do get scammed by someone like this, you probably deserve to, deserve to lose your money. There has to be a little bit of a Frederick Nietzsche, you know, um, no, sorry, there has to be a little bit of a Dawkins natural selection type of vibe going on if you do get scammed by these people because they have a track record they've shown you what they're about you know sometimes you should let people you know you should believe people when they present they present a certain face to you and he kept presenting you know that he's a scam artist so maybe you should believe him and stay as far away from him as possible because no one likes to be scammed and i know i don't anyway even though i did get scammed the other day <laughs> <laughs> we got the people that get scammed i got scammed the other day actually i got i got scammed via some telegram group uh, uh oh, update oh, on oh. the fish oh damn damn the less said about that the better actually um anyway let's move on let's move on let's move on for the telegram scam but that kind of hurt i'm not going to lie it kind of did hurt me a little bit but we you know we move we continue 